Fabio Jakobsen receives the perfect lead out, but would it be enough to beat Dylan Honovec? And this is stage four of the Tour of Hungary, 25Ks to go, break up the road. The Balwaza rider, Paul Cook, just going for the KOM jersey. I think Bora and uh, Quickstep controlling for their sprinters, Walls and Jakobsen respectively, and they catch that break pretty comfortably. But we have a couple of climbs, including one with about 18Ks to go in this stage, and Bora have... Matthew Walls in their team who climbs well for a sprinter and in Tour of Norway he got over a late climb and then beat Mads Pedersen in the sprint so Patrick Conrad who's one to watch tomorrow for the only GC day there's a mountain top finish tomorrow uh, the Austrian national champion tries to light it up he's then countered by teammate Niels Pollitt uh, for Bora Hansgrohe they're trying to make the race hard the problem is it's like 18 k's to go from the finish when this crests. There's a lot of slipping room for Jakobsen, a long line in this peloton. It's only about 6% this climb, and they didn't really pace it hard because they got small teams here uh, the whole time. It's just a couple of attacks. So putting more than 10 seconds into Jakobsen or Gronewegen is a tall order, but credit to Bora Hansgo for trying. Astana then counter. They have no sprinter here. I wonder where they're going for Lutschenko and Battistella on the mountaintop finish tomorrow. That'll be interesting to watch. But as you can see, the GC group, or the main peloton, is behind him, and then there's uh, the riders catching back up. Pollitt tries again, though. On the flat, he's joined by another Astana rider, but now Ineos are doing a bit of the work for uh, Quickstep Alpha Vinyl themselves with Hajduk. They're going for Viviani. They haven't had... A good week so far with for Viviani in the sprints. They haven't really been able to put him in a great position, nor has he looked that fast either. And then actually Sebul Vader, I think it is the Androni rider who won a stage at Tour of Turkey and then came third or fourth. He attacks, but it's De Klerk and Quickstep are now starting to get involved. Movistar as well with Norsgaard for Max Cantor, but here's Giga Chad, De Klerk getting involved. And that's when we knew this was going to be a sprint. As I said, credit to Bora Hans Grower for trying. You never know unless you try. Jumbo Visma here. Don't have Olaf Koy, the winner of the first sprint, uh, but they are sprinting with David Decker, who did quite well yesterday. And yeah, as I said, would be a sprint, notwithstanding the Adria Mobile rider trying. You can see Jakobsen here has made his way safely back to the front of the race. And Bike Exchange... Also, just like Ineos, worse than Ineos, actually have really struggled to get Gronovegan in good position, not just in this race, but throughout uh, this season consistently. You can see the mid-pack. There's quick step to the left. Ineos, mid-pack to the right. Bora Hansgrohe mostly at the front. Jumbo Visma, bottom left. And Israel don't really have a lead out. It's kind of a every man for himself with Einhorn and Barbier, which is a bit of a shame. You'll see that later. So Ineos used Amador. Then it was Hajduk. Then uh, the clock. But again, they, they couldn't really get Viviani in good position. Bike exchange were much better today. You remember the sprint stage the other day when they had like three men left at 500 pointless today they used up their men earlier got Gronovegan on Jakobsen's wheel great change of strategy or maybe that always was or maybe that's just the way it worked out but it worked it was much better from them today they've got Mezget sort of half on half off Jakobsen's wheel with 1300 meters to go Gronovegan's on his wheel looking good Jakobsen's in the yellow jersey remember and Mezget's is about to pull off and he doesn't just pull off and go straight back. There's a right-hand corner coming up. Stan van Tricht, insane lead out for quick step. Mezgetz is going to, he's just going to pull off, give give Jakobsen's wheel to Gronewerken, and, and that's the wheel to be on. But then he makes sure he's involved in this corner, which, I mean, he can't really, he can't disappear. And that's going to cause a split behind Barbier's wheel. He's in the green jersey for Israel Premier Tech. And it's actually, I think, Einhorn, closing down Barbier's wheel, and every other sprinter caught behind, this split, done. Cannot contest, all over, with Stan Van Trick doing this sort of lead-out. So it's really between Barbier, Jakobsen, and Gronovec. And, and it's a shame, I think, if one of Einhorn and Barbier actually gave each other a lead-out, they might have got the jump on quick step and bike exchange this week, or at least had a real chance of winning the stage, because Barbier doesn't have the top end of Jakobsen or Gronovec, and not really close, but... I don't know, but the, the quick step and uh, bike exchange trains haven't been perfect. Jakobsen gets a really good lead out, though, from Seneschal once again. He's not going to get dropped off at 250 to go, but this time he has Gronewegen on the wheel, and I think with 175, 150 to go, they launch either side, and Gronewegen's just, his five second was a different league to Jakobsen, and I mentioned this in the previous couple of sprint stages, the ones that Jakobsen won. I said, even though he's won, not big gaps. And you see here, like, 
Groenewegen, who the problem has not been his actual sprint. Clearly, the problem has been the positioning and not being able to compete with the sprint, like you and a lot of times. He's put five, six bike lengths into Jakobsen, who admittedly did give up at the end. So Groenewegen looking very sharp and beats Fabio Jakobsen easily. He opts for the shush celebration. Another questionable one. We saw one last month from Hayter and Romney. I don't know if you should be shushing anyone when you're probably on seven figures, big transfer over to Bike Exchange, couldn't compete in 3.1 or 2.1 sprints and finally win one, but that's just me. Maybe after a Grand Tour stage when you do the shush. But for Jakobsen, I'm telling you, Valois the Belgium Tour, if he has to perform there, otherwise Cav to the Tour will gain momentum. And I think Lefebvre still hasn't made a decision on which rider he's sending yet. He'll wait for that race. But this is the results. Groenewegen winning ahead of Jakobsen, Barbier, Vimeis, Viviani, uh, Kailich, Max Kanter, Ulich, Decker, and Einhorn rounding up the top 10. Tomorrow we have the GC stage, the only mountaintop finish. Looking forward to a bit of a change up for that. Let me know who you think will win. Conrad, Battistella. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you with that recap tomorrow. Ciao.